Guys, sometimes I make mistakes. And when I do, I own up to them. Sometimes I learn new things. And when I do, I like to share them with you. And this is something that I didn't make a mistake because I didn't know, but uh, I have a huge, huge update for these little M5 stack things. Uh, and I'll tell you what, you want to stick around because whether or not you're an ICOM guy, this thing can benefit you this time on K6 UDA Radio. Let's do this. All right, guys, welcome back to the show. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks since I put out a video, and there's a very, very good reason that I did wait two weeks to put out a video. Well, number one, I was doing a project for Mrs. K6 UDA, uh, building this very, very cool chicken coop. Um, hey, you know what? We are out in the country. We do have a small farm. She wanted to raise chickens, and uh, the cost of a chicken coop out here is insane. So, hey, really? Um, it was kind of a no-brainer. Just uh, buy the materials. I paid 14 bucks for some plans on the internet, and I set off to build a chicken coop. Came out really, really nice, and actually, it is the first time I've actually ever built something like a construction type project. Uh, done a lot of cars in the past. Guys, a couple of months back, uh, I brought you a story about these very cool little meters uh, from a guy in Canada, uh, VE2DX, and he's still making these things. Um, He's got some new software for his uh, his proprietary software. Boots straight into his program there, and it may it may just nope. It's going to need repairing because I did I did a thing, uh, guys. I did do a thing after I released that video. Uh, Got a lot of good comments. A lot of guys liked it, thought it was pricey. I thought it was a little pricey, and uh, he offered another meter. It was um, like an analog-looking meter. Well, anyway, I got a lot of a uh, lot of emails and a lot of guys saying, "Hey, there's a guy in France who wrote this software, and he wrote it as freeware and." Bob, you can build this thing yourself for a fraction of the price. So anyway, this guy uh, from France, I believe, F4HWN, his name is Armel, and he's kind of an inventor. Uh, he's much more of an inventor ham than I'll ever dream of being. But anyway, uh, he and several other guys that he knows or friends or, or followers of him, um, said, Hey, you could build one of these things by yourself. You could build one of these things. You can order these deals off of, uh, Amazon for a fraction of the money. And he makes that software. He developed it as freeware just giving it out freely no license he now has a license but he has gone and done something that is so cool he's built all the meters <laughs> plus a two secret weapons one that if you've got an icom 705 or you have a uh, 7300 you're going to absolutely love this because if you like to call CQ and run and you miss having your meters 
on the radio while you're doing it. Uh, there is a new app that he's got out that all fits on one of these little M5 stacks, guys. I just got to show you how easy it was. I ordered one of these off of Amazon for 45 bucks. caveat. I bought two of the original core M5 stacks off of Amazon, both of them, um, three weeks apart, had defective uh, SD card readers. They wouldn't read the SD cards. So I sent both of them back, no problem to Amazon, uh, spend an extra $10, so $59. I just got this one today. This is the M5 Fire. It does a lot more. $10 more, so it was $59. Bucks. <laughs> Whatever. But, man, I tell you what. Uh, what functionality out of this thing now. Let me show you exactly how... We go ahead and put this thing together step by step and you could do it for 50 bucks, 60 bucks. Guys, before we get into this, um, please, if you haven't already hit the subscribe button, please hit the subscribe button, the bell notification right next to it. Uh, give the video a big thumbs up if you like it. And if you really want to help me out, uh, please consider kicking in a buck or two. Uh, you could do it over PayPal. You could do it um, on Patreon. I don't know. And if you're a first responder, uh, you know what? Consider kicking down a patch for the big wall, putting a new big wall together out in Studio B. Anyway, let's get back to this thing. All right, guys, like I said before, this was the original core M5 stack I ordered on Amazon. Uh, this one was kind of defective. I eventually made it work on another M5 stack that I had, actually the one that I'm giving away. So if you uh, want that M5 stack that now has all of our Mel software on it, <laughs> man, it's, uh, it's ready. And, uh, as soon as I hit thousand subscribers on rumble, uh, I'm giving that thing away. But anyway, we break this thing out, plug in a USB C cable, let it fire up and run through its startup diagnostics. It's going to come to its own little, uh, C prompt kind of thing. The next thing you're going to need is a micro SD card. And you're going to have to uh, format this thing in FAT32. So uh, get your card out, program it in in FAT32. I find uh, uh, these little 2 to 8 giggers are super cheap on Amazon. You're going to plug your SD card into your card reader on your computer. Mine happens to be a Mac. Next, you're going to want to fire up your favorite text editor and uh, you want to make a ICOM config file for the 705 or the 7300, whichever you want to do. Now, Armel publishes on his github.com full instructions on how to do this. And if you're not an idiot like me, you can do this pretty much without uh, <laughs> direct messaging Armel 50 times. Um, yeah, because I'm that guy. So anyway, on this GitHub, you're going to download uh, the M5 stack burner, which comes with a ton of other programs that you can play with and do what you want. This is our Mel's uh, M5 radio core uh, stuff. He's got the INI files. All you need to do is copy them and put them into your text editor 
as a straight INI file, and uh, you're just about done. Now, here's a new little program that he's including. This is very cool. This is the IC keyer. So it takes up no screen real estate on your seven, uh, on your 7300 or your 705 and allows you to have those uh, voice keyer or CW keyer stuff. Next, you're going to fire up the M5 burner. Uh, he makes it for Mac, Windows, Linux, or, well, he doesn't make it, but it's made for all those flavors. You're going to just scroll right down to the M5 burner, and you could see, look at all these little games and cool little things that you could put on your M5. So eventually, you're going to get down to the M5 radio core. Uh, this is Armel's uh, burn, I guess. And you're going to go ahead, download it, and then you could burn it onto your stack. Now, remember previously, we plugged in the, uh, the basic M5 core, and we're pretty much ready to go here. All right, so now we're going to tell uh, the burner to go ahead and burn the image onto the M5. And it's unofficial, so yes. We want to do it. You're going to pick the appropriate COM port here. Uh, mine is this w, uh, WCH USB serial, and that's what works on my Mac. Anyway, uh, once you tell it to go, the screen on your M5 stack is going to go blank, and this is going to take maybe a couple of minutes uh, to get burned on to the M5 stack. Basically, it's writing to the little uh, hard drive on the stack. And in the interest of time, I've uh, just kind of cut to the chase here. It'll go ahead and uh, do a hard reset, and then uh, it's ready to go. All right, so now uh, you're going to insert that SD card that you wrote the two INI files to. And you can go ahead, it'll fire up uh, the DX tracker. Here's, uh, here's the DX tracker starting up, and there it is. Man, that is nice. All that needs, guys, is an internet connection. If you have an internet connection, it's getting all that live info, and now we'll start it up. And you can pick, and let's start. Uh, let's start the IC meter, and now it's going to start loading. And once this thing loads, it's going to load a whole nother program. Da 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 da. -da. <laughs> yeah, it just kind of seems like it's taken forever, but it really isn't. And. Uh, and once you've already read all this stuff in, you don't really have to uh, keep the uh, SD card in there either. And boom, hooks up to my uh, 70 or my 705. There we go. There's a little bit better. And now, as I tune, there it is. It's live, guys. All right, so the next meter in the lineup here is the uh, ICS uh, meter. This is the analog looking meter. And we'll just wait for this one to load up. And we'll save a little time here, uh, pull up the ICS meter. And this one's a little bit hard to see uh, with, the, uh, with the lighting here. Let me do a little Lighting adjustment. All right. Now you can see that meter. Now, 705 is uh, only hooked up for FM right now on D-Star. I don't have an antenna dragged over to it for um, uh, HF. So you're going to have to take my word for it. It does work. Now, you remember the last time I said that the buttons didn't really do anything. 
Well, on our Mel's version of this, the buttons do all kinds of stuff. And uh, screensavers HDMI output, so you can output it to a bigger screen. You can also shut it down. It has different themes, all kinds of cool stuff on all the meters. And now that I've got the lighting adjusted, let me show you the DX tracker once again, because it is so very, very cool. Uh, it doesn't really do a whole lot other than it tracks all these spots and gray line, which is super, super cool. I don't care what you're running. Uh, this is just got some cool factor. All right, now you guys will remember my biggest bitch about the 7300 and for that matter, this new uh, FTDX10 was the fact that when I wanted to use a voice keyer or a CW keyer, it took up the entire screen real estate and I spent $100 for this little guy for the uh, FTDX 10 to basically press buttons and call CQ. Yeah, this is the new secret weapon uh, from Armel. Armel, you're a genius. Meet your new secret weapon, my friends. CQ Poda, CQ Poda. Kilo 6, Uniform Delta Alpha, calling CQ Poda. CQ Poda from Kilo 2249 in Idaho. Guys, this works for both uh, voice and CW. So, uh, man, 50 bucks. And you can have all these tools. Guys, that's all I've got for you today. Uh, you know, hopefully for 50, 60 bucks, you decide you want to get in on, uh, on this thing. I mean, my Lord, if you're an ICOM guy, this thing is gold. If you've got a 705 or a 7300, this thing is gold. Uh, if you're not an ICOM guy, but you want to have that cool little uh, DX uh, spotting tool <laughs> that is in there for free, plus all the ICOM tools, and you don't have to use the ICOM tools. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this thing. Let me know what you think of uh, doing these little update videos, and I will catch you next time. Oh yeah, uh, no live this week because I was doing chicken coop. No live next week because I'm gonna be taking my grandkids to Disneyland. So, if you're in the LA area, uh, give me a shout. I'm gonna take the uh, I'm gonna take the FT5, and um, who knows? Maybe we'll do something. Anyway, catch you guys later on Bob K6 UDA, and I'm out of here. Seven three.